Hi everyone, uh, this is a little project I've been meaning to do for a little while where I got uh, some nice marbles, believe it or not, from uh, the glass centre up here in Sunderland. And I've been meaning to use one of the marbles uh, as part of a lid or a finial or something like that. So I had quite a nice bowl blank. It was quite tall or long whichever way you want to look at it um i think it was you know 15 18 centimeters <laughs> um but as you'll see it does get shorter um but we'll see that later so all i'm doing here is i've got a uh putting a tenon on both ends and then i'm parting off using a really great parting tool and you can get quite deep with this uh, so parting through uh, and I finish it off with a saw. So I'm working on the lid now, um, and what you see there, that's the underside of the lid, so that would be what's inside the box. And I like to finish that off nice, I like to put a bit of detail on that if I can. Um, just to show anybody who opens the box that you have spent time to work on it. It's not just a afterthought. Obviously bring the diameter down. This type of lid is going to be um, a one that kind of fits into a mortise. Uh, obviously a straight mortise. So this this will slide inside a recess in the, in the actual box. Put my four lines in, which I tend to do, one for each of the kids and then sand it off and apply some friction polish. Okay, so now to work on the actual box. Uh, now that the lid is finished, well, at least the underside of the lid is and the diamond is finished. Uh, so now just to um, straighten that up and, and start hollowing out. First, I've got to try and um, cut in the recess for the lid. Now this was my first mistake because I made the it, eventually I made the recess too too big and it's a bit harder to put wood back on so I had to start again really so that's why the box now is no longer uh, 15 centimeter deep um, it's around about nine uh, but nevertheless the second attempt getting this recess done um, quite a nice fit. I find when you're making lidded boxes, you've got to have bone dry wood. The blank needs to be, you know, ready for turning because, you know, in a week or so after finishing it, they can move if it's got any moisture in and the lid just won't work. It'll get too tight or too slack or the whole thing will turn oval. Um, and, you know, you're wasting your time. You could make something really beautiful and it doesn't last five minutes. But this wood was really dry professionally dried this one i think it was an actual blank i bought um a pack of different blanks uh, so i don't think this will move too much
here I'm just using my um, R2 carbide. Uh, I don't really like carbides that much, but for this shape of bowl, bowl, a box, um, it was appropriate because obviously I'm going to have a flat base and a vertical wall to this box, so this worked pretty well. I'm getting okay finish with this, and I'm not going to manage this with you know a gouge. So I've got the lid back in, just pressure fit, uh, using the tailstock to help, and I'm starting to work on the lid. I didn't really know what shape I wanted. Um, I did want the finial part of it to be lifted a bit, so that's why there's the uh, raised bit in the centre. Um, it was... It would hold in with the tail, but you see I've had to put... Um, bit of a uh, shop towel in there just to jam it in so that when the tail's not there I can turn it uh, that's fine no problem so I've just used the forcing a bit cut a hole in for the what I'm going to cut now which is going to be the um, the finial bit that will hold the marble uh, this is just a bit of bit of mahogany Yeah, I'm just trying to um, get the get that bit of mahogany to sit perfectly on top of the wood. I didn't want any any gaps, um, so I'm just shaping it and testing it and seeing where it's rubbing on the wood. And you can see the line. So just trim it slightly, ever so slightly, and then eventually I'll put some glue on, bring the tailstock up to hold it in place, and let that cure. And actually let that cure overnight. So I'd already started shaping this, but I forgot to start the uh, video recording. But anyway, so this is where we got up to. I've just shaped it a bit. I've hollowed out that bit of mahogany a little bit, to, you know, in a shape to take um, the marble I'm going to use. Um, I'm just trimming off slightly, getting rid of some of that shop towel and begin the process of deciding how I want that lid to look. So I'm just using my um, one inch skew here as um, a bit of a negative rig scraper really. Um, got a nice, nice smooth straight uh, side to the box. I'm not trying to do the same thing on the lid. I'm not sure I do a very good job, but um, gets it to a place where I can sand uh, to something that I like. So we've sanded up through the grits and uh, just adding some friction polish here. Uh, it was tricky actually because the the lid kept popping out <laughs> um, whenever I applied any lateral pressure to the finial. Um, but we, I think we got there in the end.
Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm turning it around. I'm going to remove the tenon from the base. Um, in order to do that, I'm using uh, that tool, rig, whatever you want to call it, um, with the dog toy built-in thing, the rubber end thing. Anyway, it, it works really great. and I can, you know, friction hold just about anything on there. I can spin it pretty quick and it feels really solid. As long as I've got a centre point on the base, I can just bring up the till stock. Uh, as you can see, I'm just gradually cutting away until I get to a small bit. And you can either uh, just twist that off or you can, I think I use a parting tool just to, to cut it finely. And we're pretty much done there, just applying the last bit of uh, friction polish to the base. And didn't turn out too bad. Mine's a tossing on the ocean there.